Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears have every intention of walking out of today's game with win number four on the season. It's the Saints going up against the Bears. All right, thank you much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Chicago Bears. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. here back at the 23 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down so now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit it's second down here's Trubisky that one brought in by his tight end, Adam Shaheen. And he's brought down after a good game. A very solid gain of 27. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them great way to get the game going so after that big play let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels on first down they run with Howard and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40 give him 10 yards on the pickup and that'll make it second and a foot or so really tough drive but that run help salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. tailback Jeremy Langford and the stop here will come at the 38 yard line two yards on the pick up there but it's enough to give him a new set of downs with a give to Howard. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. the 30 31 yard line three yards is half of what they needed now can they get the other three here on third down partner we know today's nfl is really built around the guy throwing the football but these short runs they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along you control the clock you control the ball and that way you often control the game Trubisky now to throw on third down. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And Parkey's kick is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that one. Their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. through the air and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Now Hundley. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Meanwhile, taking a look at what's going on in KC. Yeah, the Chiefs have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down following the run. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. He'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. to throw here and almost picked off I guess the good news for them now it's fourth down you absolutely have to have this early on right third and short they elect to throw for it and that's normal NFL football they're going to throw on third and short but you've got to hit it don't you yeah in the first quarter like you said to set the tone can't connect there He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. That'll go for only 17 yards on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. 
but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early, but there's that special one there. I say they go get him. And yeah, not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now Trubisky. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. First and ten, it's Trubisky. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So second and medium, second and five now. Now Trubisky to throw. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it third and one. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. the 47-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Second down, Trubisky. This complete to Langford. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Oh. 
seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here we go now. Blue line Out of the gun, Trubisky. He leaves this one for Howard. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. First down with Trubisky. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll go down at the 28. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Howard on second down and able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup and that'll lead here to a third down. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The Bears on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. All right, here we go. Green three. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Set up a throw. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. He's up to about the 47-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. And NFL update. They're in the second quarter in Baltimore. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. 
That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camara, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again? And he's taken down here by the Saints. Sheldon Rankins in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. Trubisky to throw on second. Going down the middle, and it's complete. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Around the NFL, second quarter down in Tampa. And the Bucs are out to an early lead. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Over, over, over. I'll give to Howard. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Set, three, On the handoff, 
This is Howard. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive linemen. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. All right, here we go. Green, 35. Here's Trubisky to throw. Throwing middle but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jordan Howard that time. And that'll make it third down. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, nine. Trubisky will throw. He hits right, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating... The guys who just gave up that play. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 19. All right, here we go. Boom, nine, nine. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Sheldon Rankins in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Around the NFL, second quarter down in Tampa. And the Bucs are out to an early lead. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Here we go. What? Not. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds McKinnon complete. Able to make one man miss, but he will be corralled around the 10 yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second down and four. Out 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Bears have put an extra defender in the secondary on third down. Yep, they're in the nickel. Looking to throw. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Quentin Dial in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. this away angled for the sideline with a lot behind it wow and the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35 and now the bears coming out as they get ready and from this spot and field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and i think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? An NFL update there in the second quarter in Baltimore. And it's the Ravens that have moved out to an early advantage. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. Yet a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Ah. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. That goes for a gain of 31. Now, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. They run it with McKinnon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They're trying to establish that running game, but they're really, really having trouble, aren't they? Yeah, when you're running against a really good 4-3 defense, that means you've got big guys inside who control things. Those big defensive tackles are making it very difficult to find open space. Second and 10. And it's caught. Kobe Flaner. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down.
The Saints on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. Play clock winding down. Throwing Hundley. And incomplete here on third down. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, Brandon. <laughs> so we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Well, that return gives them a golden opportunity giving up that type of a return. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game they try again with cohen and now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there second down well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Oh, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. The Bears on third down, two for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Now let's go. Green three. From the gun, it's Trubisky. On the left side, a catch by Wayne. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And a big 32-yard play on third. Trubisky flushed out right and he'll go down at the 28 nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down 
Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Three yards to go here on second down. with Howard and he went backwards he'll be down at the 30 he lost two there and it's third down sometimes with the running game you've just got to stick with it look it's the third quarter no time to panic but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays but stay with the overall essence of the running game The Bears on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. All right, here we go. Boom, landed. Ah! Now it's Trubisky. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And from the nine-yard line now, it's first and goal. Here we go now. Throwing here, Trubisky. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A gain of seven that time. Second and goal. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They come out here in the eye. Try to punch it in with Howard. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. But Nick Fairley's on his game. He is your prototypical defensive tackle who can make disruptive plays. Great hands, really good quickness. They're on to the second half now down in Miami. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all. Third and goal. Now Trubisky to throw. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now McKinnon to start the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 20. 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game, but one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up, not even just in tempo, but maybe getting better line splits and spreading the field. I think that would be a great strategy right now to try and open things up in the run game. The play clock's running down. Now Hundley. 
Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 30 yards there. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. So the offense has it first and 10. McKenna looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production, but how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. Back to the NFL scoreboard for his second, third quarter in Indy. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's third down. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. The Saints on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Here we go. They'll drop the throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now McKinnon. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And here comes play number six on this drive. Here we go. On second down, Kamara looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Here we go. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So a first down and five for the offense. They'll come out in the pistol. Here we go. One, 
They run the counter now on first down. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Switch it up here and look to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brett Hundley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now Trubisky on first down. Throw left side taken in by Meredith. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. I'm ready now for second and nine. Watch out, watch out. Tight here right, tight here right. Set. Here's Trubisky. Flush to his right. He finds an opening past the 40. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. All right, here we go. They run with Howard. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Here we go now. Now Trubisky. Out left to Shaheen. And he'll take it down shy to 45 at the 46. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. He'll drop the throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. I think probably just trying to draw him off there, it didn't work. And defensively, that's what you work on all the time, being in that spot and being able to not jump and give them the yardage that they were desiring. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a low liner, I think he mishit it. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Elsewhere, a fourth-quarter score now from Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Hitting the home stretch here in a great game, a tie game. Let's see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Screen play, McKinnon. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. They'll set up the throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. Fresh set of downs here. Come on, let's go! He'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Reception. Here's Trubisky. It's grabbed over the middle by White. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And yeah, the Saints signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Yeah. 
See if they stay on the ground for second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. and be backed up to the 24. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And Parkey's kick is good. An update now and a touch of a surprise going on down in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. A victory there would mean their sixth on the year. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary, but you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. throw now a desperation throw deep downfield and he can't hang on to it that would have sealed it instead second down interception before almost had one here he's got to start taking better care of it yeah really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions he's lucky there Field. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So for the Bears, it's a fourth win of the campaign as they get to 4-10 and ten on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the Detroit Lions come to town. Meanwhile, for the Saints, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.